So with the elbow pass, just even without doing the pass yet, I, whether you're doing wrestling or jujitsu, at any point that I get somebody's back basically turned to me, it's going to create a reaction. Okay? Usually that reaction is going to be my partner squaring up and turning his chest to me. If you guys don't know what square up means, it just means he turns his chest to my chest. This is squaring up, at least in like a neutral position. Okay? If my partner does not square up and he just gives me his back, I take the back. Okay? So, when I'm doing this elbow pass, um, there's a lot of reaction. So let's, number one, reaction number one, my partner does not square up. Boom, I pass, I grab that leg, and a lot of us talked about, I get him here, okay? I really wanna be careful about getting my head to the outside, unless I'm Daniel Cormier and I can just lift him all the way up and slam him, but we can't really do that in jiu-jitsu. So once you guys get that a leg, try to keep your ear on the inside. We're not gonna go over that single leg too much right now. We're just gonna kind of uh, play with the idea of uh, chasing as he squares up. So. I come here, my partner's squaring up, squaring up, squaring up, and now we're gonna chase the second leg, okay? Before we get back to the video, guys, if you're enjoying this video and you wanna support me and you wanna learn more, you can click the link above, it's gonna pop up, or go to brandonreed3x.com slash store to find any of my takedown for BJJ instructionals. You can also go to brandonreed3x.com slash email to join my daily email list where I give tips and tricks about wrestling, jujitsu, and kind of just do a, a daily journal so I can share with you guys like what's going through my mind. Anyways guys, let's get back to the video. Very basic concept. We already chased the first leg, now we're gonna chase the second leg. Again, I come through, I turn, my partner squares up, and now I'm chasing the second leg. I'm almost like ramming my head into my partner and that makes the leg really light, okay? I'm not like using my arms. I'll go this side. So very slowly, I move, I turn, my partner squares up, and now my head is gonna punch immediately into Jad's uh, chest, and I'm gonna grab that leg, and I'm gonna put all the weight onto his back foot. You see how I made him hop? What I don't wanna do is when I get there, I don't wanna just like lift with my back, because maybe I'm successful the first attempt, but if we're doing that for the period of match, for five matches in a tournament, we're just gonna be wearing our back out, so it's not really a good habit. So. I turn, I go, he squares up. Once he squares up, I'm taking my head into his chest and I'm making him hop on that back foot. Go this side, turn. Does that make sense, guys? So you gotta be a good partner. Please don't do this, so pass my elbow. That's called being a horrible partner, okay? Yeah, he should kick you, okay? When your partner passes your elbow, square up for them, okay? That way they can go ahead and run you on that back foot. You guys got it? Let's be loose too. All right, dudes, let's do it on three. One, two, three.